Today is August 29th, which means the new Halo Infinite containment event is just around the corner, and as usual, I'm going to be taking a look at the newest items in Halo Infinite store, and determining whether or not they're worth your money. So as you go Magpies, I'm Magpie Leon, and let's jump straight in. First things first, this week's ultimate reward is supposedly the Brainwave Visor. I will likely unlock this one because of the event, however, I don't really think this is one that I will actually use. Anyway, moving over to the shop, this week's daily is the Cold Forest coating for the Bandit Rifle for 300 credits. Personally, I don't think one coating is worth 300. It is kind of nice, but there is a few that are quite similar to it now. We also have the return of the Second Chance Bundle, which is one with the Evangelion-inspired coatings, the Jackknife coating that you get for every armor core. The coating itself is kind of nice, but probably not one I'd use. You also get the Can Do Stance, which is kind of cool, the Second Chance Chest Piece for the Hazmat Core, the Farm 90 Stabilizer Shoulder Pads for the Hazmat, and the bundle costs 1,200 credits. Personally, I do think this is on the pricier side, but there is definitely worse options. The Hazmat Haven Super Bundle has also returned. This comes with the Warning Signs Bundle, the Carrier Bundle, and the Toolmaster Bundle. Starting with Warning Signs, this contains 12 items. The Warning Signs Legendary Armor Effect, the Smoothie Operator Weapon Coating, which you do get for every weapon. You also get the MA40 Mode MS Weapon Model for the Assault Rifle, and the Mark 50 Swift Guard Weapon Model for the Sidekick, which both look amazing, by the way. But the bundle does cost 1,500 credits, which is definitely a pretty high price tag for what you get in here. Although, that being said, the weapon models are something you will see all the time, especially depending on what playlist you play. So I do fully understand if this is one that ends up being a popular one that a lot of people buy. As for Carrier, this comes with the Emerald Edge Visor, the base steel armor coating which you get for every core, which is a fine coating. You also get the Carrier Helmet, which straight up looks like a Bionicle. You also get the Type MX Legendary Knee Pads, the T55 Shoulder Pads, the Battle Buddy Wrist Attachment, the MX Cutter Utility Piece, the Cog Chest Piece, and the Skewed Perspective Stance. For 1,600, this is definitely a very overpriced bundle in my opinion. That being said, the contents here are pretty cool, and I do like most of the armor pieces except the helmet. Next up is Toolmaster, which gives you the box guard armor coating for every core. I kind of like how this one looks, and I know it's probably not the most popular since there's a lot of conflicting colors and patterns. You also get the Burrow Lens Helmet for Hazmat, the Protect Custom Attachment for that helmet, the Crash Guard Shoulder Pads, which are my favorite shoulders on Hazmat, the Toolmaster Wrist Attachment, the Crowbar Utility Piece, the Fireproof Stance, and the Protect Buster Chest Piece. This is definitely very on brand with the event, and to be fair, I do think Toolmaster is one of the best sets for Hazmat, although this, pro this one is probably going to be another skip for me. The Super Bundle that comes with all three costs 3,400 credits, and also comes with the bonus of the Hazmat Haven Mythic Effect set, and the Beware Rare Charm. This does definitely save you a considerable amount of credits, but I do think I'm going to skip on it. Anyway, next up is the long-awaited Comnet Bundle from Season 3. Well, it was supposed to release during Season 3, but never did. This gives you the Adrift Sapphire Legendary Armor Coating for every core, however the Yori one, interestingly enough, was released last season on its own, so I'm curious to know if people brought that, do they get a discount on the full bundle? You also get the Protect Comnet 2020 Shoulder Pads for the Mirage Armor Core, you also get a Utility Piece for Mirage, the Overmatch Stance, the Corder Helmet Attachment, and the Stepwise Visor. Interestingly though, the Bundle preview image actually shows a completely different helmet attachment, which was the one that was released in one of the free events. For 1,500, you definitely don't get your money's worth here. I think the coating itself is fine, very clearly inspired by Captain Falcon, but other than that, you don't really get that much to warrant that 1,500 credit price tag. Our final bundle this week, and another new bundle, is the Tem4 bundle, which is another hazmat themed one. This gives you the out of orbit armor coating for every core. This is kind of similar to two other coatings we've had this season, one of which is the battle pass purchase bonus. You do get the Tem4 legendary helmet for hazmat, which is really cool. I'm actually a big fan of this gas mask look that it's got going on. However, not a huge fan of the helmet attachment you get with it. You also get the spray wall shoulder pads, the tack tool chest piece, which is kind of cool, the guard grip legendary gloves, the model 21 knee pads, and the biofoam stance. For 1,800, there is definitely, again, better bundles, I would argue. But to be fair, you do get quite a few cool pieces for the hazmat core here, so I'm not too sure how I feel about this one. The coating, though, is definitely way too similar to some of the other ones we've had. And to round things off, we have this week's spawn of the week. This time around, I asked you all for your best hazmat spawns with the new containment event. Starting today, I wanted to sort of keep it on brand. But rather than just picking one, I decided to choose a few. We have entries from Sadie, Jixel, AJ, iJohn, and Lego Maniac featured here. 
If you want the chance to be featured as the Spartan of the Week, make sure to join the Discord. I will leave a link to the pinned comment. And all you need to do is send pictures of your Spartan to the Share Your Spartan channel. Anyway, that sums up everything this week. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you all in the next one.